dear friends today I'm going to show you how to get the changes you make in servlet reflected without restarting the Apache Tomcat server here in web apps I have already created a web application that is first servlet which has a servlet named welcome servlet.java which nothing but just prints a message welcome to the world of servlet I have already compiled that you can see here welcome servlet.class file so let's run that okay you can see localhost colon 8080 port number first servlet is a web application folder my welcome servlet is a URL pattern which calls to appropriate servlet and you can see the welcome to the world of servlet message here you can see URL pattern which I have put here my welcome servlet so now I'll make changes in my servlet code I'll edit this message to welcome to the world now I made changes in servlet I have to compile it I'll delete this dot class file so you can see the new dot file created I use the same previous command to compile by pressing upward key in my keyboard enter so here you can see a new welcome solid dot class file is created with the new changes in it so I'll deload this it is not going to reflect so I don't have to restart the Apache Tomcat server I just have to use manager role click on manager app here yeah. it asks for the username and password okay if you don't know the username and password or perhaps you haven't set the username password you can set it right now or you can also retrieve it if it is already set go to the C drive program files Apache Tomcat there is a conf folder that is configuration in that tomcat usersxml double click on that open that so here at the bottom you can see I have already set the username in user tag you can see username as an admin password my password for roles manager GUI if it is not there in your file I'll show you how to do that okay just copy this tag user tag and paste it outside this comment tag this is comment tag okay outside this just paste it and change whatever you want to change it I'll admin I'll set it as a admin username as admin password I'll set as a my password and you must set role as a manager hyphen GUI you have to set as it is here you cannot change this one just set it as it is and you can set password anything you want and username anything you want so close this one so now you have made changes in tomcat hyphen user.xml for that purpose you have to start the restart the Apache Tomcat server you don't have to restart it every time just once because you made changes in this file so I'll log in using username which I have set admin and my password password login so now you can see we have login this is the my web application loaded by the container for servlet so here we have 
four options start to start the web application stop to stop the web application and reload to reload the web application and undeploy never click on this undeploy because container will delete all the web application which are present in web app folder so I'll reload this one and reload my servlet the changes got reflected you can see now I will again changes in servlet I'll make this as a welcome to the world of servlet Again, we'll recompile this using same command. Now I don't have to restart the Apache Tomcat. I'll just reload this by clicking on this reload. Reload. Changes got reflected without restarting the Apache Tomcat server. So here, if you make any changes in servlet, you can reflected by just reloading and if you make changes in web.xml file here then you have to restart the apache tomcat server because when you start the apache tomcat server that time an object is created name servlet context for each application and the job of container is to load the web applications which are present in web app folder with their appropriate web.xml files so if you make any changes in dot web.xml then you have to restart the apache tomcat server if you make any changes in servlet then just reload it but never click on this and deploy as it deletes the web applications present in the web app folder permanently Thank you for watching my video, please like, share and subscribe for more videos.